Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Vice President of TV Marketing, Mr. Scott Ramirez. Good morning. So the song, it's the end of the world as we know it, I feel fine. Because 2008 changed the economy as we knew it. For a lot of reasons that we're all painfully aware of, consumer confidence is down and consumer buying patterns are changing. So what do we do? Well, I like to think about wise men. So Dalai Lama said, learn the rules. Well, actually, he said, learn the rules so you know how to break them properly. But the economy and the rules have changed, or changing. And we've come to the proverbial fork in the road. And another wise man, man once said about this, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. So we're going to do that. At Regza, at Toshiba, we're going to have an LCD TV for everyone. We're going to have non-regza for those consumers who are changing those buying habits but still want the best quality. And we're going to have new regza for those who want the best of the best. So non-regza, we call everyday right price. Good morning. Everyday right price means we don't sacrifice anything in picture quality and cosmetic design. It's all there at an everyday right price for those who are thinking about their spending. But new regs is not your everyday LCD TV. We're going to take a quantum leap in what regza is in 2009. Leading design, leading technology, leading connectivity. For those who want the best, they will be looking at regza. So I tried to think of a graphical way to show kind of the evolution of TV and regza. So bear with me. So I thought we start with CRT. Then we go to PTV and then ACTV, and then flat panel, and then we have Toshiba, non regs LCD TV, and now we have the new regza. <laughs> As I did this one, I, I started to think about uh, we people in the CE business, at least me, and uh, the kind of evolution of the CE business, and I thought it kind of looks like this. <laughs> Anybody feel it? So anyway, back to the real stuff. So the TV industry, where are we? Well, I'm not going to talk about projection TV because that's not worth talking about now. So let's talk about plasma. So plasma, uh, 2008, should wind up about 3.5 uh, million units. And the growth is slow and, and slowing versus LCD TV. I believe if an LCD and a plasma are at the same price point, the consumer is voting with their wallets for LCD. We look back at 2008 again, Toshiba consistently outgrew the industry. While the industry in the first 11 months in LCD grew 38%, we grew 96%. I'll fly high on my own. <laughs> okay, I couldn't count on you. And our market share went from about 4% last Christmas season to about 10% now. Go back to what I said last year. What were our goals? Our goals were to hit 10% market share in LCD TV, and we are achieving that. Our goal was to be number three in LCD TV, and we are achieved, or have achieved, that. So we achieved our goals for 2008. We will achieve our goals for 2009. Also last year, I said there would be some trends. I said black is a new black, and 1080p is a new 720, and 120 hertz would be the new 1080, and there's no real volume over 3,000. So what do I say this year? This year I say grade, gradation is the new black, and I'll explain what I mean by that. 240 is the new 120, and we'll talk about that. Some will say you can't be too thin. I'm still going with you can't be too rich. But, but can you really be, not be too thin? So one question I have to have about too thin is, in this economy, although thin is nice, will people pay? Thin. I did my own little survey in my neighborhood, 
And I have yet to find the person who's saying their flat panel TV is too fat. So we'll see if you can't be too thin or not. And instead of 3,000, what I'm going to say is there's no real volume over 2,500. And I don't mean there's no volume. Of course there is. But as far as the real meat of the industry, it isn't going to be over 2,500. The average 52 inch in, in uh, November was $1,948. Therefore, we're going to go to larger screen sizes this year. 55 will become popular. So $2,500 range, still volume. Above that, it's not really volume. And I know as, a, as an industry, we like to write about the 150 inches and the 120 inches, but nobody actually buys those. Right? You, we just write about them and take a lot of pictures. Up to 55 inches is the business. That's where the business really is. So write about that. So let's talk about the, the lineup. I'll start at the bottom, work my way up. So the first series is the AV600 series. Small sizes, but big features. What we've done here is we've taken the features from the larger TVs, 26, 32, and 37, and we brought them down to the 19 and 22 inch. So Dynalite, dynamic backlight for deep blacks, two HDMIs, not one. PC input, so this is not only a TV, it's also a PC monitor. Gaming mode, so it's also a gaming TV all the way down to 19 inch. How many brands can say they have a gaming 19 and 22 inch? Audio out, so if you have that gaming PC TV in the kid's room, he can hook it up to his audio system and listen to it over his speakers. Energy Star 3, 19 inch and 22 inch, and 22 inch is a great size for a digital transition because you have all these secondary and tertiary rooms, something has to happen with them, this TV is perfect for that. So small sizes, big features. From there we move to the AV502 series. This actually is an existing series we announced in September. 720p, 26 inch, 32 inch, 37 inch, and we will continue this series all the way through 2009. No change. From there, we step to the RV525 series, and this series goes to 1080p Full HD, goes to three HDMI with Regzilink, which is HDMI CEC, and a high res PC input. So if you're really a PC gamer, you get the better graphics, available in 40 and 46. We introduced this in September. It will continue all the way through 2009. So the real interest, the real stories are with the new Regza. And what we're saying here about Regza is more than you expected and everything you need. Why do I say more than you expected? Because we're making a quantum leap in what Regza is for 2009. In design, in picture quality, in features, in connectivity, we're not changing one or two things. We're changing everything. And when you look at all the series we'll offer, we will have everything you need. We won't have the 150 inch, but we'll have everything you, you really need. So what is Regza? What makes Regza Regza? Well, the heart of Regza is our Pixel Pure 5G processor. This is Toshiba Semiconductor. 14-bit processing versus 8 or 10-bit. 4,000 levels of gradation versus 256 or 1,000. Everything is smoother. Everything is clearer. And we continue, 5G is fifth generation, we continue to make it better and better every year to maintain that processing superiority. This year, 2D chroma enhancement, 2D luma enhancement, dynamic sharpness, adaptive noise reduction, it keeps getting better. But if you have the heart of Regza, you also need the soul of Regza. And the soul of Regza is going to be Resolution Plus, super resolution technology. Now up till now, we've been saying SRT. But we're going to use Resolution Plus as the global name for super resolution technology. And what does Resolution Plus do? Well, it takes all your SD content, even your 720p HD content, and makes it look full HD. So whether that's your SD TV station that you're watching, whether that's your, your DVDs that you have a collection of at home, whether that's your camcorder videos, whether that's your video game, all of that is going to look better with Resolution Plus, and Toshiba is the only brand, I believe, offering this to the consumer, a true value, making their everyday video viewing better.